feet, feet and calves and ankles. So come here first to Malasana, put your hands at your heart. Good, and then we're gonna step back to a tabletop like this. Inhale to a cow lift, drop your belly, melt your heart forward. Exhale, cat's head, belly button, the spine, spine to the ceiling. Inhale, cow lift. Exhale, downward dog. So, downward dog. This is a huge calf and ankle and foot stretch. All the same muscle group here. And it's, um, so when you first get in this pose, it might feel a lot on your shoulders. You're definitely building your shoulder muscles. But primarily what we're doing here is stretching the whole back of the leg, entire back of the leg. So when we say walk out our dog like this, it's to stretch the calves, it's to stretch the hamstrings, obviously stretching the ankles, and stretching the toes. So we're going to do a sun salute, and I'm going to show you the cool thing about the sun salute is what, well, one of the many cool things about the sun salute is what it does for the toes and the feet, okay? So watch my feet while we do this. We're going to come down to plank pose. Lower down and hover, Chaturanga Dandasana, this is the hovering plank. And then watch my toes. I'm inhaling up over my toes, opening my heart. See that? That's great for the feet. And then watch this, another part of the sun salute. I'm going to lift from my core, I'm going to roll back over my toes, to downward dog. Walk it out. And then just this process of walking out the downward dog is stretching out the calves, stretching out the ankles, and then stretching out the feet. Bend your knees up between your hands, so jump to the front of the mat. Inhale, to a flat back. Exhale, hold the bend. Inhale, arms over your head. Exhale, hands to your heart. So you never moved. I turned around, but you never moved. You were right here. We're going to do a chair pose. So drag your fingernails on the ground and sit down in your chair. All right? So this pose, you're like, this is not about my feet. This is about my quads and about my core, but it's really about your feet. If you can establish a good balance between the front of your feet and the back of your feet, between the insides of your feet and the outsides of your feet here, four, imagining four points on each foot, rounding down evenly, that's going to align your feet. It's going to lift your arches. It's going to strengthen your arches, and it's going to make this pose easier. Good. Inhale up onto your toes. And then we're going to come down into a chair pose on our toes. Feel that? You're going to feel that in your calves, in your ankles, and in your arches. Big, big pose. Good. And then come to a forward bend like that. Stretching out everything. If you can't touch your toes, don't worry about it. It's not a big deal. Just be here. Good, and then one more time, we're going to take our uh, feet out to the sides and come down into this malasana squat. Hands to the heart like this. Big ankle stretch, it's huge, I assure you. So I started doing this, I don't know, I started doing it every day, I guess like four or five months ago, when it really was up like this. But then uh, the muscles just relax. They relax and then... You can really feel the ankle stretch when your whole foot is on the ground. Passive stretch. Obviously, we're stretching the groin too, and to some degree the lower back. But really, what I want you to feel is ankles. Feel your ankles. Feel your calves. Feel your feet stretching here. If you're feeling it in your knees, please don't feel that. Come out of it or shift your weight somehow or sit on something, whatever, it doesn't matter. Don't feel it in your knees. We're trying to protect our joints. We are trying to feel it down here, though. Releasing something. Good. Come up. Arms over your head. Exhale your hands to your heart. All right, that was five minutes for feet. Almost there.